Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared for you five rustic spring hanging DIY decor ideas that I created last year so I wanted to remind you of those and just get us all started with this spring decor. DIY number one. I got this um, wreath with a chicken wire um, that actually came from Target Dollar Spot for three dollars. I have really liked the way it looks like and I got this uh, craft paper roll from the Dollar Tree. I cut it uh, quite cut a little piece of it and then I am going to roll one side and secure it with a hot glue just a little bit you know to look like that old um, you know paper message and then um, I got these uh, peel and stick vinyl that's already pre-cut also three dollars from Target Dollar Spot and there is two um, usually sayings and then I'm taking the one that says hello spring I'm using only my fingers to um, transfer it I didn't want to use transfer tape so it doesn't peel off the craft paper when I uh, put everything nicely and when I was happy the way it looks like I am going to go ahead and um, take a juice wine actually first I'm taking off the letter piece that's um, on a hanger then I'm taking a juice wine pushing it through the uh, top loop and then I'm uh, pushing it actually both of them uh, through that uh, loop on top twice and that is going to be my uh, way of hanging this wreath and also um, holding this paper now I'm securing the bottom to the wreath with my hot glue and then I'm taking these uh, wildflowers from the Dollar Tree and I am going to go ahead and um, take two picks just a greenery and a green jute twine and I am going to wrap it to keep them together and also wrap it around the wreath I didn't want to use a hot glue because it would it might fall off and this is the best way to do it in my opinion <laughs> and then I'm taking just one flower and I'm putting it right in the middle and that's it for this project I really like how this turned out you can already tell this is completely my style very you know clean lines very minimal and I really like a touch of that green and a flower it really makes me smile and makes me think of spring tell me what you think about this one alrighty let's go on to the DIY number two I'm taking these um, dowels wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree I'm going to take four of them these are the larger ones I'm going to create a diamond shape overlapping the ends of each dowel a little bit and then I'm going to secure it with a hot glue after I'm done with that I'm going to take a cotton twine from the Dollar Tree that's a white one and I am going to uh, in a crisscross pattern wrap uh, three corners so one I will leave untouched and you will see in just a minute why so when I was done with all four of all three of them I'm gonna go ahead and take this rope I actually have this rope uh, I got it a long time ago from Hobby Lobby for $4.99 with the 40% off and it really lasts me forever but really you can use any rope that you have on hand this is what I had and the only thing I made sure is to keep it flat and um, I secured it with a hot glue here and there to make sure it doesn't slide down and I went all the way up to maybe a little bit above the halfway through those dowels I'm actually creating a pocket where the flowers are gonna go when I was done with the you know height that I'm happy with I'm gonna go ahead and get all these uh, picks from the Dollar Tree they are lavender picks there's two different kinds really and I am taking three of them and I'm just gonna put them in now what I like about this hanging piece is that it's just a pocket you can replace the, the um, flowers that go inside depending on the season you're in and it can be standing like this on a shelf or it can hang so I really really like this one it is a little bit different than what I usually make but I really really like it and I hope you like it too okay guys my unconventional materials craft challenge is coming up next tuesday february 15th at 10 a.m central standard time uh, my co-host is alga over at olia diy adventures i really hope you all will join by watching or participating 
um, this is something that I am so excited about and passionate about. These are the rules, very simple. The only thing you need to do is really create something, some beautiful decor out of things that are normally not used for crafting. So it can be trusted treasure or something using something completely unrelated to crafting. And of course, as always, have fun. I hope I will see you there. If you don't have a YouTube channel, make sure to go ahead and um, send me your uh, supply picture as well as the uh, finished project on my Instagram or on my email. And I'm going to feature you in my video. Okay, DIY number three. I am taking this hanging a met metal sign that was actually from the Dollar Tree. You can see that I took uh, whatever was in the middle, the part. And I'm also taking this hanging welcome flower sign also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take this Beverly chalk paint in a color ivory and I'm going to give this flower one coat. Then I created a little pinkish color by adding the red to this ivory and I'm going over the end of these, um, you know, petals. And then I'm taking mineral as well as this antique wax uh, to paint the middle of the flower. Then I'm taking ink by Waverly chalk paint and the same brush and I'm just dabbing over this welcome sign. I wanted it to look almost like very, very dark galvanized. Now that I'm done with this, I am going to go ahead and take two Django blocks and I will hot glue them together and put them right in the middle of this metal sign or metal square. <laughs> And then I'm going to attach the welcome sign to this metal one. It has two holes, so it's perfect for it. And then I will hot glue the flower right in the middle. This one was super simple to make, but I really like how it turned out. I transformed two um, Dollar Tree signs into something so beautiful. I like pastel colors on this flower and also uh, the, you know, color block of this welcome um, portion. I really like how it looks like. And I want to hear from you. What do you think about this one? Alrighty, DIY number four. I'm taking this burlap ribbon. I believe I got it on clearance um, for 90% off in one of the craft stores. I'm cutting off uh, eight of the pieces. Now length, it doesn't matter. It really is, is up to you. Now I'm going to take four of them. In the middle of the one, I'm going to put a hot glue and then I'm going to hot glue the other one right there, uh, making sure to follow the, um, you know, part where the wire is. So now that I have two uh, portions of four, I am going to hot glue them together to create kind of a pocket. So I'm hot gluing both sides again alongside of the wire so it's easier, it doesn't seep through. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom to create a pocket. Now, when I'm done with that, I'm going to cut off the excess and I'm going to fray just a little bit the bottom and the top portion of this pocket. When I was done with that, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the jute twine. I'm going to tie several knots on both sides and I'm going to hot glue it on uh, each side of the top part of this pocket. That's going to be the hanging part of this pocket. I keep calling it pocket, but you'll see later what it is. Then I took a paper bag uh, to create a small bag that's going to go inside of this uh, ribbon pocket. And I also took more extra of the paper bag to put it inside to just create kind of a, you know, um, volume. And then I'm going to go ahead and get these yellow uh, flower picks from the Dollar Tree. I really like this yellow color. It screams spring. And that's it. This hanging pocket is just so adorable. I absolutely love it. If you're recreating this, you can take any ribbon, any fabric that you have to uh, create the same effect. I really like it, but I want to hear what you guys think about this one. For all of you that are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm Yelena. I always loved uh, doing DIY projects and crafting. Um, everything that I do is on a minimal budget and mostly rustic and farmhouse style. I do try to do some um, other styles as well, 
I really hope you are interested in those kind of things. If you are, watch my other videos. And if you like them enough, I would like for you to stick around, like my videos. And if you like this one, please like it as it means so much to me and helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube. If you would like to stick around, please click that subscribe button. It is completely free and notification bell on so also to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. Come join me. Say hi. Now let's go ahead and start with DIY number five. I am taking these three larger balls. They're 2.8 millimeters, I believe, or 2.8 inches <laughs> uh, from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to give them a one coat of this green acrylic paint. Then I'm poking a hole on the top of each and I'm taking the same uh, rope that I used in my previous projects and cutting three different lengths. Now I am going to uh, push it into the hole and secure it with a hot glue. I'm going to do that to all three of them. When I was done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get um, moss, floral moss, and I will use a hot glue to attach floral moss to each of the balls. So when I was done attaching it, it looked a little bit too much. So I decided to uh, just trim it a little bit all the way around. And when I was done with it and when I was happy with it, this is how all three turned out. Now I took these wildflowers from the Dollar Tree. I took uh, the flowers off. There is a pink and red, I mean pink and white. And I started hot gluing them sporadically on my balls. Now, again, this is just an idea. You can use any flower that you want. You can leave it without flowers or you can really add anything that you would like. When I was done hot gluing these all the way around and when I was happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and take this rope, these ropes and um, position them so they're all different lengths. And I'm going to tie a knot on top. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to create a bow. So I'm really not good at creating bows. You can see over here, I just kind of folded over, pinched it in the middle, and that's how I created with two different types of ribbons. And then I am going to just secure that with a hot glue on top of that knot that I created earlier. And pretty much that's it for this project. This one can be hung, you know, in a front door or, you know, um, anywhere in your house that you'd like, but I really like how different this is and fresh. I think it's so cute and also reminds me so much of spring. I'm so ready for spring, guys. If you like this video, I would like to you, uh, for you to give it a thumbs up, share it, and also subscribe with the notification bell uh, to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. Tell me in the comments which one was your favorite, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.